Hi, I'm Svenja Lona from Science Buddies and in this video we will show you how to prepare solutions for your science projects at home or in the classroom. We will not use any expensive laboratory equipment like volumetric flasks or volumetric pipettes as you would in a research lab. Instead, we will stick to simpler materials like plastic cups and graduated cylinders. These will work for applications where 95% accuracy is acceptable. Making a solution simply means mixing different compounds. In fact, a solution is defined as a liquid mixture of two or more compounds where one substance, called the solute, is dissolved in another substance, called the solvent. Solutions can be made by dissolving a solid into a liquid, like this Kool-Aid powder in water. In this example, the Kool-Aid is the solute and the water is the solvent. Solutions can also be made by dissolving one liquid into another, like this blue food coloring dye in water. In this example, the blue dye is the solute and the water is the solvent. Only solutes that dissolve in the solvent form a solution. If a solute does not dissolve in the solvent, no solution is formed. If a solute doesn't dissolve, it sometimes helps to heat up the solvent. The amount of solute present in the solvent determines its concentration. Concentration is a measure of how much of a solute is present in a known amount of solvent. There are several ways of expressing the concentration of a solution. A common way is the mass concentration, which is the mass of solute in grams per volume of the solution in liters. A variation of the mass concentration is the mass per volume percentage, which is calculated by dividing the mass of the solute in grams by the volume of solution in milliliters and then multiplying this by 100. So how do we make solutions with specific concentrations? Let's say we needed to make a 100 ml Kool-Aid solution with a mass concentration of 50 grams per liter. We can use the mass concentration equation to determine how to prepare the solution. We know that the mass concentration of the solution needs to be 50 grams per liter. We also know that we want 100 ml or 0.1 liters of the solution. We put these numbers into the equation and solve for the mass of the solute in grams. The result is 5 grams. We now know that we must dissolve 5 grams of Kool-Aid into 100 milliliters of water to make 100 milliliters of a Kool-Aid solution with a mass concentration of 50 grams per liter. To make the solution, we place a 100 ml graduated cylinder on a kitchen scale. The scale should have a precision of at least 0.1 grams. Once the cylinder is on the scale, we zero the scale and carefully add the required amount of solute, which is the 5 grams of Kool-Aid powder, into the graduated cylinder. In the next step, we add the solvent, which is the water, to the graduated cylinder. Once we added about half the amount of water, we stir the solution to make sure all the Kool-Aid has dissolved. Only then do we fill the water up to the 100 ml mark. To make our measurement as accurate as possible, we use a transfer pipette for the last couple of milliliters. The bottom of the meniscus should line up with the 100 ml mark. Now we can transfer the solution to our storage container. It is important to label the container properly. What if our instructions say we should make a 50 ml solution with a 16% mass per volume Kool-Aid concentration? Again, we can use the mass per volume percentage equation to find out how to make this solution. We know that the mass per volume percentage of the solution should be 16%. And we know that we need 50 ml of the solution. We put these numbers in the equation and solve for the mass of the solute in grams. The result is 8 grams. We now know that we must dissolve 8 grams of Kool-Aid into 50 ml of water to make 50 ml of a 16% weight per volume Kool-Aid solution. 
The procedure for making the solution would be the same as shown before, except that we would weigh 8 grams of Kool-Aid into the graduated cylinder and fill it up to 50 milliliters with water. These examples show that we can create solutions with many different Kool-Aid concentrations, by either adding different amounts of Kool-Aid to the same amount of water, or by adding the same amount of Kool-Aid to different amounts of water. For example, we can double the Kool-Aid concentration by adding 10 grams of Kool-Aid to 100 ml of water instead of 5 grams. Or we can double the Kool-Aid concentration by adding 10 grams of Kool-Aid to 50 ml of water instead of 100 ml of water. If you want to decrease the concentration of a solute in a solution, you can either make a new solution that contains less solute, or you can dilute your existing solution. To learn how to make dilutions of a solution, check out our dilution video in the description links. For now, you should know enough to prepare all kinds of different solutions for your science projects. Happy experimenting!